and Amazonian culture, uh, you know, the mother of the earth. So this is the divine Shakti. Shakti means power or energy that exists within us, which then combining with consciousness, Shiva, right, forms an amalgamation of Shiva Shakti, Ardharari Shuri, thereby matching the yin and yang, the yid, ida and pingala movements, the sun and the moon, the negative and the positive, and finding a way to merge into this central channel, erupting all over the body and resulting in bliss. This is what people call Kundalini awakening. And this is, I guess, uh, <laughs> at the root of the spine. Is that correct? Which, uh, when it is uh, in a sleeping mode? Hmm. <clears throat> Not necessarily in my perspective. There's many perspectives to this. So the root of the spine is a physical part in your body, right? Things like Kundalini and many other things, all the Shaktis we talk of, all the Dakini Devis that we spoke of in Navaratri are all occult and mystic elements. They're not really, they're in the subtle realm. They're not in the gross realm. So to pinpoint and say root of the spine is a bit gross. So there exists a dimension in that area, commonly referred to as the Muladhara Chakra. Uh, this dimension is known to house the latent Kundalini energy. But for some people, maybe it's around their heart center because they're already so overflowing with love. So maybe this is where it's latent. Some people are so powerful and they already are doing many things in their life, which is full of power and energy and vitality. So maybe this is around their... A dimension that we call Manipuraka Chakra, right? Maybe some people are already intuitive. So maybe this is where it's... So it's not necessarily as a rule um, there. Of course, the, the, the job of any yogi is to understand the sensitivity, figure out where is it flowing, where is it not flowing, where is it flowing less, where is it flowing more, how can it flow everywhere, how can you make it flow from up to down, even my dog agrees. <laughs> How can we move it through the different dimensions of existence we call chakras? How can we sense their movement through nadis, which are esoteric energy channels? This is the whole science. 